Starbucks. This is Emily. What can I get for you? Hi, yes. Can I please do um, a venti on iced black coffee? Iced venti black coffee. What else can I get for you? And then I will do also a Trenta unsweetened black iced tea. Did you say a Trenta unsweetened black iced tea? Please. Okay, what else can I get for you? That's actually it. Five ninety. dollars thank you. Thanks. Scan your card, so oh. put your name on the bottom of the card, and then if I ever have a question of it, um, I just go back through and I look. low lights and highlights in and I can't believe I'm doing this to you guys but yeah so this is, this is the hair not too bad she does an awesome job and it was nice to catch up with her because I haven't seen my sister in a few weeks even though we live like five minutes away it's been very busy so she did good welcome back to my channel um thanks for stopping by once again so another voiceover for an awesome awesome full body workout I thought I would give you guys some different type of workouts um, I know you guys want to see kind of what I do but honestly these workouts are wonderful at least for me um, as you know as you might know, as you might not know, um, I have been doing a lot more full body work recently. Um, I'm at the point where I'm just going in, still weight training, but getting in a lot of cardio in intermixed with my workouts, as you could tell from the last workout um, I did post. So this one was awesome. I thought I'd get creative and give you guys just a barbell workout. Literally just using one barbell, um, no other hand um, like no other hand attachments to the barbell. You'll also notice that here in a minute, I'm going to put together my own secure corner for the barbell. So it's not like you have to take the barbell over into a corner. You'll just have to kind of set up a few 45 pound plates just to keep it nice and secure. So um, you'll see that here in a minute. Um, but what you're looking at right now are a lot of my warm-up exercises. Um, the barbell in itself is 45 pounds, so it really does depend on how strong you are in some exercises. So when it comes to the back, when it comes to the lower body, I can actually pull or push more weight than I can with my shoulders or with my arms. So that in itself is going to you know kind of limit you in some exercises than others when it comes to weight so this particular exercise I could uh, probably add weight to the barbell I didn't though um, in this workout uh, but just something for you guys just because I'm using just the barbell doesn't mean you have to you can go heavier uh, honestly I did a lot of reps and a lot of sets in this particular workout so it it hurt me already <laughs> but this workout I actually did really feel my shoulders and traps because I'm probably not used to pushing as much weight in the in that in those regions as I am with my back and my lower body it just it's just how it happens guys 
So, um, based on your guys' recommendations, um, I'm not going to put reps and sets actually within the video. Uh, I will actually put it underneath in the description box for you so that you can copy and paste and go as you want. So, I already went through the first exercise, the one-legged deadlift with the bed over row. Uh, that one, uh, again, requires a lot of balance. If you're a beginner, um, don't do the one-legged. Do both. Do, just have both legs firmly on the ground. And this particular exercise that you're looking at right now, uh, this is one where the squat isn't going to be as extensive, but it's a 45 pound barbell, guys. So my bicep curl with a 45 pound barbell is something my biceps aren't used to. The same with potentially the reverse grip shoulder press. So although the squat isn't going to be as challenging as if I had you know, 100 pounds, a 100 pound barbell on my shoulders. It's going to, for me, help lean out my lower body, give me that cardio, give me that cardio um, part, cardio portion, but then also the bicep and shoulder are probably gonna be a little bit more of a challenge for me. It's just how this barbell workout's going to go, okay? So the same, so here is, you've already seen this on Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram, um, I used a different type of barbell, but this one, a lot of balance is required. Oop, see, <laughs> even I might fall, or no, I don't usually fall, but I might have to rebalance myself. It happens to all of us guys, we are not perfect. What I love about one-legged or one-arm exercises, I wanna emphasize again, is that you are focusing on one at a time. So your stronger leg or your stronger arm won't compensate, overcompensate for your weaker one, okay? So that's a really, really good benefit of doing one one or single leg or single arm exercises for you. Now going forward, we are going to kind of move away a little bit from the lower body, focus on the upper body. You have these linear jammers. Um, never heard of them called that before, but I did research, do a little research, and that is some, what they are called in several articles that I've seen. Um, so you do have the both arm linear jammers, and then I went into a single arm linear jammer. You'll notice that I started with beginners, and then the more advanced would be the single arm, and more advanced, even more advanced than that, I want you guys to get in as another squat. So you're really, you're gonna engage your core, you're gonna engage your upper body, you're gonna engage your lower body. Really, really good. And not, I mean, I added a little bit of weight to the barbell, but again, I mean, it just, it just depends on how strong your shoulders are, how strong your back is, everything like that. Most of these will probably be a little bit easier on your lower body, but it will really help to lean them out, get in that cardio, uh, segment because you are going to be working so many muscles. You're going to be burning extra calories. Okay, this one. I don't know if I've posted this one before so good again requires a lot of balance backward lunge into that single arm linear jammer. So for the next exercise um, guys, I'll tell you when I'm wrong, tell you when I'm right, tell you when I don't know something. I'm not sure if this particular exercise has a proper name, um, but I am going to call it a landmine windshield wiper delt raise. Yeah, uh, not sure if that's going to be accurate, but to me, it looks like a windshield wiper, kind of, and you are kind of, it's kind of like a front raise, side raise. Um, stand straight up, and I would go, again, 45 pounds, just the barbell, because your arm is going to be so far away from your body. Um, I go into depth about that in the previous YouTube, just about weight and how um, if your arm, like right now I can go a little bit more weight because I'm bending my elbow, okay? It's, I, I'm, I just want you guys to be safe and yeah, of course people are gonna be like, oh, you know, you're not even doing a lot of weight. Well, you know what? I know what I can and cannot do. Um, I have never had an injury. I have never had a tear, a torn muscle, um, a sprained, anything. So uh, I feel like I'm doing something pretty, pretty good. And I just want to emphasize you guys' safety because this is just a video and I want you guys to challenge yourself. But it doesn't mean that you have to lift a significant amount of weight. Um, I am not a huge advocate or a huge fan of really heavy weight as I have seen in the hospital. Uh, a lot of back surgeries due to heavy lifting, heavy squatting, um, and, and, and it's mostly men that have 
well, actually, it's all men that have done that. And it's just those, it's just different philosophies. And so you'll pick yours. I'm not, te I'm not saying to only do five pounds and it's like, okay, I'm not even breaking a sweat. But there are specific exercises that engage smaller muscles and you're not going to want to go heavy. Um, like I said, the further out your arm is from your body, the less weight you're going to be able to lift. So don't let anybody else tell you differently. Um, that's what I want to tell you. I want you guys to be safe. All right. So I'm moving forward. Awesome. You guys have seen these before. Um, knee to feet squats. And this one, I'm just using a landmine. I'm not doing anything with my shoulder. Well, yes, I am. <laughs> I lied. Uh, I don't even know my own video. Um, this one, you do not have to do anything with your shoulder, but I am doing, again, that single arm uh, linear jammer. Uh, just a little bit with a 10 pounds. So technically, it's 55 pounds I am pushing up. Um, is it significant on my lower body? No, not necessarily. But like I said, I'm also not planning on gaining, trying not to gain weight in my lower body. Um, so moving forward, um, now you can actually see how I made in this particular video, this um, angle, you can see how I made my own landmine. <laughs> actually, it looks kind of like a landmine. <laughs> um, I did 45 pound plates. And actually, you could continue to add them over there, but you can do it anywhere. You don't actually have to have a corner to do it. Uh, I love my landmine squats, and notice that I don't have 45s on the bar. If you just use 25-pound plates, guys, because they're smaller in diameter, you can drop the bar a little bit lower than you can with 45-pound plates. So just keep stacking up the 25 pounds instead of using 45 on the bar, okay? Finishing off with landmine deadlifts, um, great, great exercise. Uh, this one will really engage the lower back. Um, you're going to try to keep most of your weight in your heels, and yeah, I guess that's about it. Um, probably want to know what my my um, outfit is. Um, top is by Walmart. <laughs> Bottoms are by Lulu. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time.